Hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational video. So the so second shift of Feb 24 has been over now and so I am here with the analysis of the paper as the student have reacted uh, on the paper. So in this video I will cover the shift 2 analysis uh, subject wise and a student reaction and the expected cutoff what can be uh, can be the expected cutoff after the uh, seeing the student's reaction and what is that uh, what is the difficulty level of subject wise uh, questions of the sip 2 that is uh, j main 2021 so, so if you are first to my channel please subscribe it you will get such type of video for further shifts also and this video might help you if your uh, shift is next also the you are going to get which type of question are coming in the exam so you will get all those uh, information in this video so uh, I again request you please subscribe this channel you will get further more information on J 2021 also and I have already uploaded the cutoff video on NIT all, all NIT CS cutoff all NIT EC cutoff and more videos you will find in the i button as well as in the description box and one more important video that is marks versus percentile versus your category rank that will uh, that is uh, that video is really helpful uh, for you if you, if you have done your exam then you can easily estimate how much percentile or how much is your category rank will be based on your expected marks which you are expecting after your exam so let's start the video so, so before starting this video i request you again please subscribe this channel and like this video share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information so label of the paper according to the student uh, who have appeared for the shift 2 exam so chemistry was the easiest as 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 uh, similar to the uh, first shift of the exam uh, that is on 24th of the uh, of the fab so uh, re, uh, uh, the my suggestion is that read the NCRT book as the student also give the feedback that the question uh, many question is directly from the NCRT book so uh, the chemistry paper was similar to the first shift and the label of the question was also similar to the first shift that is the easy question uh, among the three subject chemistry was the easiest as the student suggested and physics was easy to moderate same to the first shift so there is no uh, large difference between the uh, physics and chemistry from first shift to second shift but there is a difference in math math was easy to moderate this is a very good news for all the students who are going to appear for the second shift of the next day because similar type of question you know, they can expect uh, because in the first shift the question from math was uh, moderate to hard but from uh, in the second shift uh, it is uh, easy to moderate as, as suggested by the student but it was hard in the first shift so you can think that the shift 2 paper is uh, 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 relatively easier than the first shift paper so uh, next is uh, question where uniformly distributed that is all the topic have been covered so you can expect question from each topic which you have studied so if you uh, ask if you uh, cover only 50 percent syllabus then don't worry the question will came from each and every topic so you can uh, score at least 50 percent mark if you have uh, uh, studied really well uh, about the 50 percent of the uh, syllabus so focus on the easy topic now you can easily cover the topics as i have also made the video on first shift memory based question you should check that video on the i button as well as in the description box so that you will have idea which type of question has been uh, is being coming and i will make a video for second shift memory based question also soon uh, so be there with this channel you will get all the information regarding the each shift so you can easily uh, estimate which type of question easy topics are coming so you can uh, learn that in uh, less time also if you are going to appear for the exam tomorrow or day after tomorrow so you can easily cover those topic if you think uh, they are missing so try to focus on the easy topic and every topic will have a question as i uh, said earlier the the syllabus is uniformly distributed you will get uh, question from each topic so expected cutoff will be as similar as that of last year uh, you will wonder some uh, some uh, people saying that the question is easy so the cutoff will high but uh, at the same time uh, but at the same time uh, the student also have less preparation than uh, last year so student will find difficult to solve the question as their preparation is not as per the last year so i think the cutoff will remain uh, similar to the last year because uh, as the question become easier but the students preparation become low as well 
so i think cutoff will be similar and for checking those cutoff you can check i button as well as the dis description box there you will get the video that in which i have talked about the cutoff for each category safe score and marks versus percentile versus your category rank so you will get the category rank based on your expected marks that you have a scored in the second shift or first shift of the exam so th that video will really help you so check out that video and what will be the marks versus percentile you will get that also on that on that video so this is all about the label of the paper now i will talk about subject wise how you should focus uh, so as to get more marks in the upcoming shift if you have if you if your shift is coming uh, next day or uh, or the day after tomorrow so try to learn the key points the the in the uh, on the end of every chapter there is a key points in the ncrt book for chemistry that will really help you because the question uh, came directly from there many question 2 3 4 5 question you can expect from that so try to learn that you can easily solve that question without uh, any waste of time so for physics easy question is theory based so try to uh, learn the co uh, concept that you have uh, uh, learned earlier and try to read the notes that is the short notes for the theoretical chapter like uh, uh, like uh, semiconductor or communication system so these are the chapter that can give you marks uh, without wasting any time Uh, so for maths some to easy topic you can focus on uh, such as uh, mathematical reasoning permutation combination and uh, probability these are the topics that 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 have the question which can, which will be easier for you to solve as the student have suggested uh, so don't worry if you not score good as uh, if you have appear for the sip 2 examination of 24 feb Uh, you will have more three option you can uh, you you will have an now an experience which type of question we are asked in the j exam so you can prepare more uh, in a better way so uh, as to get a good mark in the march or april attempt so you have three more attempts uh, you can uh, do in better. that attempt also so this is all about the sip 2 analysis next i will make a video very soon about the memory based question of sip 2 so stay tuned for uh, with this channel and subscribe share this video to your friends so that they can also get this information so thanks for watching the video